Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48's World, where we do reviews, okay? Y'all know I do reviews on Real Housewives of Atlanta and Married to Medicine, and any other type of commentary I want to do on any other celebrity that's making headway news or trending news out there on the social media platform, okay? But I want to thank you all for your continued support, your love, um all your comments subscribing liking and sharing my videos continue to do so okay so we can grow on this channel we're definitely growing and i am so thankful for that so kudos to you all and i want y'all to continue liking sharing commenting in the comment section and subscribing to my channel and letting others know about me and tell them to come over it's a family affair we talk about different trending topics um and we definitely voice our opinion over here so i encourage you to speak your mind on the subject matter of the video that i'm doing commentary on of course and um let's get right on into why we got here this morning and of course we're doing the real housewives of atlanta slash merit of madison slash any entertainment that i've discussed that I have discussed throughout the previous week. We do a polling uh, questionnaire every new week, starting of the new week, and I uh, put out there several types of questions for you all to engage with me as far as interaction and keeping the communication lines open between us two throughout the week so we never forget about each other. It's almost like checking in on each other, okay, throughout the week, seeing how our day is going, see how your week is going, see how you're faring, and let's talk about some trending topics, you know, some mindless drama that gets us off our day-to-day uh bump and grind if you know what i'm saying or hustling and flowing out there okay but we had a polling questionnaire that was geared to last week starting uh with november 24th going through november 30th okay and the polling results reads as such uh i asked you a question on um during last night episode or last week episode of the real housewives of atlanta do you think nene leaks was wrong for walking out on marlo hampton during uh, their lunch at the boathouse or the boat club okay 81 percent of you all overwhelmingly responded she yes she was wrong and that was a childlike behavior move okay while 19 percent of you all said no she wasn't wrong because marlo was listening because she wasn't listening to Marlo in the first place. <laughs> we move on to the sec second polling question. It was asked during last night episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, episode four. Do you think Nene Leak stormed out of the restaurant from having lunch with Marlo because of one of the following? Your choices were she started to feel ill because uh, she felt ill possibly a headache nausea etc no one uh voiced their opinions of selecting that particular response uh three percent said she was tired of the conversation with marlo uh 35 percent of you all said she didn't like marlo telling her she was wrong about her behavior you know sometimes that gets on our skin not my skin but um some people's skin when they're wrong they don't want to be told that they're wrong and they want to storm and make all this you know facial expressions body language going you know the rolling of the you know the head and you know looking you up and down like you don't got the problem they ain't got the problem <laughs> type of body language going on but 35 percent of y'all said she didn't like marlo telling her she was wrong about her behavior okay with an overwhelming response uh 62 62 percent of you all said she didn't like marlo saying she should apologize to cynthia okay moving on to the next polling question we had after last night episode of the real housewives of atlantis episode four do you think nene leaks hbic appointed only queen still standing as the og of the show should have her car title snatched away from her well as you all know i've said in previous videos i snatched the card over here at deb chanel 48 world we can't have that <laughs> mm -mm. we are waving no white flag we ain't uh turning down any offers to sit and respond and give our opinionated opinion no we don't run for uh any obstacles or any adversity we stand in our a uh, full-bodied armor suit okay and we just get people up 
and down. We read them up and down. Okay, let's see where they're coming from. All right. But anyway, um, I asked that polling question to you all and an overwhelming response of 58% uh, of people said, yes, she deserves it after last night showing, meaning, yes, we should take that player card from her of calling herself self-appointed OG of the old uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta entity and that she is the queen. No, queens don't act like that. Well, 42% of you all said, no, she should keep her title. Okay. Moving on to the next polling question. I was asked or I asked you all, do you think Portia is wrong or right for putting the fall all on Dennis's doorstep with their relationship going south at the moment? But you know, of course, this episode or season has already fully taped, is wrapped and we're looking at it. And we knew we know currently um, Portia Williams is still moving, forging ahead with her relationship. And um, more than likely a marriage will take place next year. Okay, so she's not letting him go. <laughs> she ain't letting the hot dog king go. But like I said, I hope she got her prenup uh, ready to be signed still and delivered to the lawyers. But, you know... <sighs> With Portia, y'all already know how I feel. I did this whole video on the whole episode of she letting her boyfriend, her baby daddy, get her all discombobulated and putting her in the therapist seat, chair, sofa, however you want to see it, and they ain't even married, okay? So y'all just know how I feel. If y'all don't know how I feel, please go. Don't hesitate. Go straight to that video <laughs> where it says recap Portia Williams, okay? Season 12, episode 4. It might just say season 12 recap review on Portia Williams. Strictly for Portia Williams all right so we kind of like got her together in our own little way and hopefully she'll take some uh knowledge from that video and uh forge ahead but do it very lightly you know do it very slowly think about everything Portia because once you say I do it's a done deal baby but anyway uh going back to that polling question with the responses 53 percent said no Portia is right Okay. Wow. Um eleven percent of you all said Portia was wrong. While thirty five well, thirty seven percent of you all said they both are wrong and they both need to handle it or let it go. Um, and that was that for that polling question. The next polling question was asked, Do you think it's hard for Nene Leaks to accept when she is wrong and that is why she finds it impossible to apologize to people sincerely? 100% of you all, which is not a fair polling because only one person uh, answered the polling question, but you all said yes, and um, y'all felt that she does have a hard time accepting when she's wrong, and she should apologize, okay? But it is what it is. Nene is just that, okay? But moving on to the next polling question. It was asked, do you think Nene will be playing a victim most of the time during season 12? Uh, 67% of you all said no, okay? While 33% uh, of you all said yes. Um, the next polling question was, do you think Kenya Moore will be playing the insecure mother uh, wife towards Mark Daly during season 12. Lord, I hope not. Okay, Kenya, we're used to seeing you being in full control, full and full flesh control of your life. Uh, you set the standards. You are uh, one of the people to abide by what you put out there. You're not accepting too much of anything, but lately when you're filming uh, these last three episodes, it's kind of questionable on where you really stand with mark you know it's like you're giving him the benefit of the doubt and he's coming up real short and you're just really not saying anything you're not trying to uh be constructive with him and calling him out very pleasantly of course uh it's just like you're just not doing anything but being a doormat and pretty much but we hope you uh, definitely solidify yourself in back in some form fashion a frame of mind and kind of get him together nicely and discreetly <laughs> okay because you're really looking pretty piss poor out here can you pretty piss poor uh, but anyway we have hope for you still we still have hope for you but anyway going to that particular um polling question um, 100% of you all said yes, uh, that 
you do think Kenya Moore would be playing the insecure mother slash wife uh, towards Mark Daly during season 12. Okay, uh, moving to that next polling question. It was asked, do you think Kenya Moore is jealous of her miracle baby, Brooklyn? Okay, uh, overwhelmingly response of people said yes, while 27% of you all said no. And I'm like, if we're only going by what we were seeing on television, what they showed us on uh, Bravo Entertainment, other Real Housewives of Atlanta, and it does seem like, um, yeah, Kenya, you are very, very much so jealous of your baby girl, which that should not be the case okay really should not be the case but moving on to that next polling question it was asked do you think Kim Moore is jealous of her husband's personal relationship slash bond uh, he has with his daughter Brooklyn Overwhelm overwhelmingly response of 71% of you all felt yes <laughs> Kenya Moore is downright jealous and indignified that Mark Daly would have the nerve to leave her hanging on the sidelines while he give all the love and attention to his baby girl or their baby girl, Brooklyn. Okay, while 29% of you all said no, she's not jealous of the bond, the relationship he holds very dear with his uh, daughter, Brooklyn. Okay. And then the next polling question, I asked you all, would you like to see Marlo Hampton become a full-fledged time peach holder in season 13, if that was possible? Uh, overwhelming Lee response was, uh, yes, we would love to see Marlo Hampton out there shaking and, and baking on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Well, 40% of you all said no. <laughs> No, y'all don't want to see her. Y'all don't want her on y'all screen and just a uh, flat out no. That's what y'all told the people. That's what y'all told me over here at Damn Chanel's Four Days World. And I laughed all the way, honey. I laughed all the way. Because I would like to see Marlo. I know she's had her infractions, her uh, misdemeanors, felony charges. But my Lord, they've been, um, what do you call it, taken care of one way or the other. And don't people deserve to have a second chance, people? That's what I'm saying. If it ain't got nothing to do with murdering somebody, killing somebody, or really, really damaging somebody's character, uh, and tearing them apart where they're losing everything financially, and they're put, being deemed as poor when it was very lucrative in the wealthy realm of life and living in society, then, you know, don't do don't, don't. We want to give them a second chance, guys. Come on now. Ugh. But anyway, that's what you all said to that particular poll. Um, let me see. It's uh, next poll. The question was: If Marlo Hampton becomes a full-time peach holder in the future, would Nene Leakes be deemed or deem Marlo Hampton as a threat to her on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Well, honey. Uh, gentlemen, 73% of you all said yes, honey. She would deem and see uh, Marlo Hampton not as a friend anymore. She would see her as the enemy. She would see her as someone that's trying to come for her throne, self-appointed throne at that. And she would probably more than likely treat her just like she treat the rest of the women on the Real Housewives of Atlanta that she feels threatened by. <laughs> but 27% of you all said no. She wouldn't deem uh, Marlo as a threat at all. Then we go to the last and final uh, polling question for that week. It was asked, if Marlo became a full-time peach holder of the Real Housewives of Atlanta show, do you think her and Nene would remain buddies slash friends on the show and off of the show? An overwhelmingly coming out response with 75% saying, hell no. <laughs> and you know, and I asked y'all to explain, but um, I did have some people explain, but we won't go put them out like that. Uh, I read the comments and it was like, you know, they had valid points of why they felt that no way in the world Nene would uh, definitely... Um, remain buddies or friends with her on camera or off of camera while 25 percent of you all said yeah she still will remain the same she would be kosher with her friend yes she would <laughs> like, no no nene wouldn't do that nene likes her money and if she in her head feels she is the highest paid uh, individual on the Real Housewives of Atlanta that's grant, granted more privileges that we see in perks 
off camera than what we would see her getting on camera. Didn't know she she don't want nobody to come for that bag, honey. She don't want nobody seeing her as any different than what she sees herself and how she plays herself against her own coworkers and, and constituents. However, she looks at them from day to day. <laughs> From season to seasons, from sea to shiny sea. Okay. But uh, anyway, that's all I had for the polling questions that was asked of you all to partake, respond to throughout your week at your leisure uh, for November 24th through November 30th. So those were the results. I uh, hope you enjoyed them. And I will be putting some more out Sunday probably afternoon if not sunday night and we'll be getting ready geared up for the real housewives of atlanta for season 12 episode 5 will be airing eastern standard time on sunday at 8 on the bravo channel as well as followed by the uh, merit the medicine as well i forgot what episode but i should have that together about time um you all take place and come back uh for that review from me but all right guys y'all be blessed take care of yourselves and i will see you all next video bye, -bye.